and you're gonna space across there. You don't have to go into the back of the foam, just in the seat part. This is just to hold your foam down so it's not flopping around when your, your pet is on it. See how now it's staying down there? Now I'm gonna figure out where that other take that one out so just keep going along it'll take a bit before you get used to it just really be careful that you you don't stick your finger I press down when I press down into the coach where before the needle comes up I can see where the needles coming up so just base along here and if you have a bigger sharp needle yeah I mean even better take you less time and it's much easier to see and not as I mean I'm so used to this now that it doesn't really affect me too much but take your time the first few times so you don't end up puncturing your fingers Oof, Bessie it's hot and I'm going to take that third stick pin out And we're almost right to the end. Oh my gosh. And once you get to the end, put it through. And then don't forget to weave your needle through a few times again. And there we go. Dropping everything. Hot mess. So, that is your coach sewn on. And see, it's much better here now. Because now, it's flat down. So, this isn't all flopping up. This stays firmly down. So, the next thing that you're going to do is you are going to attach your sides. So, I always do the long sides first. And all you're going to do for these is, I wish I had a bigger desk. It's driving me nuts. Okay. So, it doesn't matter right, song, right side or wrong side. Attach it here so you can go down around. And if you made your string long enough, you can do the short end too. Doesn't matter how you do it, just attach it. I just put a few in. Did I do that the wrong way? Yes, I did. Go this way. Because it starts up here. You're going to go all the way around. You don't have to pin it all the way. Just put a pin in a few places just so it stays in place as you're sewing it. One on the bottom. I'll put one right here. And I'll put one on the bottom here. Now, if you find that your tension is really small and this isn't wide enough for you, you can most definitely do more stitches. You don't have to do nine. You could do 10 to have nine stitches instead of eight. Do whatever, whatever size you need for your tension for it to fit. This is just a basic pattern. You can change it up however it best suits you. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to start there and I'm gonna start sewing this thing together. and you can see how it's starting to be sewn together so just keep sewing along the ends pull that 
out. And I guess I'll say it at this part of the video here. Um, what I'm going to do, usually like you have a video and it says if you want to buy the pattern for this one to go to my your shop and what have you. But for all that have watched this video, what I am going to do is just for this one pattern is you can go to my Ravelry shop. I'm going to tell you a code and you can get this, just this one specific pattern for free. So you add it to your cart and where it says put code in, you put in the code word YouTube. Small letters, U-T-U-B-E, all one word. And you can get this free, this pattern free. I would ask, if you don't mind, when you do go to get this pattern free, that you heart this pattern, because it moves it up in the Ravelry pages. So for the free pattern, I mean, if you could just heart it, you don't have to, but if you feel so kind to do so, it would be definitely be appreciated. Um... Yeah, and please do not put in the comments in this video that to get the free pattern, it's YouTube. I want people to see it and while they're watching the, the video and be able to go get it themselves. I don't want everybody just looking at the video or looking at the comments and being able to see how to get the free video or the free pattern and not even pay any attention to the, the video itself. So if... If you can do that, that would be appreciative. If you don't want to heart it, I mean, you don't. it's not necessary. You don't have to. It's just appreciated if you do. That is all. And I'm still just sewing around. Yeah, I made this way too long. Oop. Get that out. Whoops. Yeah. Also, this side, I'm not sewing both sides on while I'm videotaping. It's just going to take more time. That's not necessarily. Or, no, I have to because I have to put this. But I'll show you how to put one arm on anyway. So keep sewing around. I also wanted to tell you about the special I have in my shop for, like I said, my patterns. I have, I believe right now, it's 164 patterns. I'm always updating patterns. Right now, it is a, I'm a little slow right now for the next few weeks because I, like I said, I got most of my stuff packed here. I am in the process of moving. I'm leaving here on Saturday. And then I have a lot of work when I get down there to get things together. But I wanted to get this video out because I've been trying to get it out for the longest time, but trying to find time is next to impossible these days. But... Here we are, but I'm um, I'm always updating new patterns. I do have, there's some great footwear patterns, there's dish towel set patterns. I have tons of baby outfits, especially cute little costumes for Halloween, photo prop, um, pictures, stuff like that. There's, there is tons to choose from. And if you're into doll clothes, 18 inch doll clothes, American girl doll clothes, boy and girl clothes, I think there's close to 50 patterns of just those. But anywho, okay, let me show you this and then I'll go back to what I was saying there. So for this piece now, you're going, and that's all attached. For this piece here, you're going to so, er, pin that into there. Pin the top part together. Pin one side piece. And pin a side piece over on that side. That stick pins everywhere. Yep. Take your needle. Now, notice in my other video, I said any hoot all the time. So I'm pretty proud because I don't think I said it once yet. But anyway, I say that a lot too. So you're going to sew now along the top. As such and you don't have to be perfect in your sewing because it's all the same color and you will not be able to tell so there's no perfection here nada perfection is very boring hard to live up to 
This is crochet. It's supposed to be fun. Enjoyable. Not that I haven't said a few um, cuss words in making mistake, having to take rows out, stuff. Yeah. Been there, done that. Got about 15 t-shirts or more. And then you're going to go along the bottom. We're going to take that stick pin out. And now we're on our last side. So that is the side. Voila! Looks pretty dang good. Now we're gonna take the other side. I was only gonna do one side to show you, but I wanna put the sleeves on in that too. So I wanna make, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do one side of this coach because it's the exact same for the other side. So let's pretend that we have the other side on there too. All you're gonna do for the sides when you do put the side on, please make sure that you look to see where you had your joining, whatever. Um, oh my, Chancy, you sat on my thing. Dang it, buddy. You got hair all over Nanny's thing. It was my son's cat I was supposed to babysit. Now he's with me. But anywho, so that's where I did my row. So I'm going to put that downwards so we don't see the seam. So what you're going to do is one... And when you're putting it on, try to get as close as the edge over here that you can. Because when you sew it together, you're basically going to come up into there. This is going to be sewn onto there. Okay? So, put one down at the bottom in the front. And then just attach it to one up at that side. And again, you're going to take... Ugh, a long piece of yarn. I was going to say string. And you can start at either end. I would say the best place to start is on the inside and then come out this side. Same for the other side. I would always start with the inside first because it's a bleep bleep sometimes to get through both pieces of the yarn. If you catch my drift. So, join your yarn in there. So, you're going to sew into the bottom of the coach. The first one that I did of this, I didn't even sew it. I glued it on. I mean, it still holds up. Chances is glued on. I mean, his coach is a mess. It's awful of hair. But, it's not even sewn on. I glued it on. It's still, there's no glue coming out. No glue showing. If you want to glue it, by all means, go ahead. I just started sewing them. Because I was selling them and I didn't want to sell them. And people, if they seen a bit of glue, say, what is... And I just figured this way here is more long-lasting with the, with the sewing. So you sew along the bottom of there. And take your pin out. Like I said, don't worry about your manhandling this or what have you. Because it's all, it's just styrofoam. It all bounces back out. So what you're going to do for here is you're going to go down and into your coach too. I mean into the sleeve, sorry. So take a part of the coach, take a part of the sleeve. Take a part of the coach, take a part of the sleeve. Hopefully you can see that right. See? And then that sits on there. You can't tell anyway. It's under there. I pull back a bit so it's underneath too. So a bit of the coach, a bit of the sleeve. Bit of the coach, bit of the sleeve. And this is what you do all the way around. Keep doing that until you get right up to the top of it. I said all the way around. Don't ask me what I'm talking about. Uh, there. So now we're up to the top. Up, when you get up to here, you're going to sew the back of the sleeve into the back of the coach. 
I'm going to take that stick pin because it's poked me twice now. So go into your sleeve, into the coach, and then I come back up the sleeve. So just go around the circle, basically, making sure you go into the back of the coach, too. And don't forget, sew it as close to the end of the side of the coach over here as that you can. Because you will be sewing your sleeve into the side of your coach. It stays much firmer and more secure that way. So, I'm going to go again. And now for this side, look, I'll show you. Go into the side of your coach. And just sew it up along the side. And there we are. So I did want to tell you about the sale, like I said, in my shop. The link that I had previously, for whatever reason, for a lot of people, it came up bad gateway, so they weren't able to get the patterns, and I was having to try or send them um, PayPal invoices and then emailing them the patterns, and a lot of people want to have their patterns right in their Ravelry library, which I totally understand. So what I did now is I have the four inauguration outfit set, which is $20 for that set. So now when people want the pattern deal of all the patterns in my shop free, I mean all the patterns in my shop along with all future patterns free, you can get them all for $20. So if you would like to have them all, all you do is, I am going to put the link in the description, um, you get all 164 patterns plus all future patterns free. And what you do is you order the inauguration pack, the four inauguration outfits, the ladies of the, their outfits from the inauguration, their doll patterns, 18 inch doll patterns. Um, Amanda Gorman, uh, Michelle Obama, Kamala Harris, and Joe Biden. Those four outfits. I mean, they're absolutely adorable. I love them. So once you order that, I see it right away. I'm on my computer all the time, so there's no waiting with me. You don't wait no eight hours, whatever. I usually see it within minutes. I have two computers running that I beep. They beep every time I get a message. So I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a perfectionist at all, but my pet peeve is probably people not answering right away or being late or whatever. So you will always, whatever, you will always see that. I will always see it right away, and you will always get a reply back right away, generally within a few minutes. But anyway, if you order that, that does come through. I see that, that you've paid for that inauguration outfit. And then I email you a code that gives you all 164 patterns in my shop. And also you will use the same code going forward for all future patterns. Um, now, when you add them to your Ravelry library, the only thing is, is that you can't add them all at one time. You can only add them separately, which is fine because my shop is not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. So that code is good for life for you to use. So you can add the patterns. As you, you can add them all in one day if you want, but you can only do them at one time. And that is, I, I, again, I said for $20. I will put that link in the description. And again, I already told you what the link was to get this pattern for free. I'm not going to say it again, but I will say... In the, in the description that you can get this pattern free, but you do have to watch the video in order to get it. So please don't ruin it for those that haven't watched it yet and put it in the description. I would really appreciate it. And if you heard that, I already, I truly appreciate that too. So I don't make this any longer than what need be. That basically is your coach. Adorable. And where the heck did I put the cushion? I was going to make these online, but they're very basic. They're in the pattern. Basically, this is... Whoops. Oh, I don't got the one with the heart, the star on it. One is a flower on it. Wait, no. Where's my pattern? See, this is the actual... This is my favorite one. But it's just basically... Two pieces of this. And then I show you in the pattern how to do the flower. You can either glue your flower on or sew it on. I would suggest sewing it takes a few more minutes, but when you glue it on, it makes it all stiff. This is all half double crochets and single, except for the white parts are 
half double crochet or skipping a stitch, half double crochet, and then going back and half double crocheting in the skipped stitch. And then you stuff them with a little bit of polyfill. And your little baby is ready. Well, pretend that there's another one here. Let me see. There we go. There. And look, look what you've look at what you've made. Like seriously, how dang cute is this? And how much is your friend or any pet lover gonna want one of these for their babies? Uh, for a few of my friends, what I did is I cut out the names with felt and I put their names here across too. You can do whatever you want. You can make flowers on this. You can do stripes, colors, whatever you want. But anyway, I hope this helps. And this is much better than the first one I did. I'm sorry that I ramble. I'm sorry that I go fast. Still a learner. And this was fun though. And I love crochet all day, every day. So those that watch it, I truly, truly appreciate it. I would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up. Um, and if you have something negative to say, please don't put it on. I mean, this isn't maybe for everybody. I'm not for everybody. So it's just about positivity, fun, crafts, crochet. So with that said, don't forget to check out, check out the links in my description, link to my shop to get the free pattern. If you don't know what the code is, you'll have to watch the pattern to get the code to get the free pattern. It's only for this one. Or you can get all 164 of my patterns and all future ones for $20. You can grab that also. But anyway, it was fun. I plan on doing my marine costumes, all my outfits all on here with followed by the patterns. So with that being said, I wish you a beautiful day and have fun and crochet all day every day. Bye.